1697, in Rhenish, Prussia, the Terstegans welcomed a new baby boy into their family. They named him Gerhard. It was his parents' wish that young Gerhard would eventually become a minister in the German Reformed Church. Sadly, his father's untimely death occurred when he was only six years old. His mother was consequently unable to pay for his university education when the time came. Apprenticed to his brother-in-law as a merchant, he soon grew disenchanted and entered into a period of severe doubt and depression, which lasted about six years. God, in his unfailing faithfulness, saw him through this dark time, once again to find joy in his presence. Gerhardt soon felt that his work left his life too segmented to have meaningful time for prayer and devotion, so he took up the occupation of weaving silk ribbons instead. Though he remained loosely affiliated with the Reformed Church throughout his life, he grew uncomfortable with their worship structure. More and more of his attention was turned to the Übungen, small groups of believers that met in homes to worship and study, wherein he became a popular teacher. In his own devotional life, he identified strongly with the writings of medieval and contemporary mystics and quietists. Their intensely personal expressions of love to the bridegroom moved him so much that he translated many of their works into German. Eventually, he quit his weaving altogether in order to serve his brothers and sisters more completely, living on a small stipend provided by his friends. In 1727, he helped open Pilgerhütte, Pilgrim Shelter, a retreat house for prayer and rest at Otterbeck. Here he wrote many of his own love songs to the king. In 1769, he left this earthly life for a better, yet his love for the Savior and his own unique personality still stir seeking pilgrims as they read his poetry and sing his hymns. Perhaps his most beloved hymn is Gott ist gegenwärtig, which has been translated into English several times, including by John Wesley, and is presented here in its composite translation as God himself is with us. The second verse in this presentation was actually added by Henry Sloan Coffin, an American pastor and seminary professor active during the first half of the 20th century. The hymn tune Tisk was German in origin and derived its name from Tisk Church in Stockholm, Sweden, where the tune was used in worship starting in 1718. <laughs> 